Hey, Puer Ala. The hat. Let me switch to English. This is not a scheduled live. This is just me painting in my art studio. I just felt like painting today and I felt like connecting with you guys as well. So if anyone is on here, welcome to my live stream. If no one shows up, that's okay too. I will I would be painting anyway. So with or without you guys joining. How are you today? I can see one person is watching at the moment, I believe. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm just setting up a little bit down here. And then let's see. So my thought is to paint this little mini canvas. And I'm going to be using acrylic paints. I use Winsor and Newton. <clears throat> and this is nothing that I planned or sketched or anything. This is just straight on going wild on this tiny little canvas that I have here. I haven't been live in such a long time because since lockdown east, I've been so busy. I've been running classes and running Zoom classes and whatnot. And I haven't had time to jump on here, but today, I decided that I am going to paint this mini canvas and let's see. Hmm. I will turn this one down a little bit like that. So we can make some colors here and then paint on this one. So I tend to use a lot of white and that is why I bought this massive white one. <clears throat> I'm actually going to add a little bit more. Can leave one white and one that I blend in, and I'll add some lemon white. And shall we use crimson red? Maybe, maybe. Could be a fun little mix. So I want to make some sort of a misty forest. But this is kind of like meditation art where I don't really over plan anything. I kind of just want to have fun with it all. So it's one of those no pressure play with the colors kind of thing. I hope you can see that okay. If you're watching, do say hello <clears throat> in the chat box. So I love to mix my own shades. And I'm gonna do that today as well. I'm gonna take some of this white and red Blend that in, add a little bit of yellow. That is very pinkish. I think I'm gonna blend in all of this yellow now here on the other side to have a different shade. And then a lot of white. And there we go. And then I'll take white in the first. Go around here. I won't be speaking too much today, mainly just painting. But if you're here and watching, do let me know in the chat box. And I like to blend in the colors with these small little circle movements. And I'll go all the way out to the outside of the canvas as well. So I think like the first thing that I like to do when I start a painting is to cover the canvas itself to get the sort of a base to work on. Because when you work with a white canvas, it kind of blinds you a bit. If you're a painter, you probably know what I mean. It's like 
all you see is white and it kind of gives you the wrong when you're painting it gives you the wrong highlights and contrast and whatnot for your eye so what I like to do is I like to get rid of that white first and then I slowly add layers and layers on top And as this isn't a planned painting, I will not be too strict about what I actually create. I'm just gonna play with the colors a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see clearly. I mean, like, the light is quite bright straight on top of this. But now I'm just adding white straight over create that kind of a misty look. Blending away that canvas again. So more white again, straight over like this. And all the way to the sides. And I like this to blend in quite well with the sky and the ground. So nothing too strict, no too strong lines for the horizon. Just kind of slowly blend it in like that. And I'm painting on the bottom side as well. Elf Lords is saying, hi, isn't it like middle of the night there? No, it's eight o'clock. It's five to eight. <laughs> are you in America, Elf Lords? We are. So around like New York, uh, Florida times, we are five hours ahead of you. So if you want to know what happens in the future, you can always ask me, yeah? <laughs> Yes, West Coast. Well, there you go. Five hours difference. So, yeah, it's only eight o'clock here. It's not too late to be painting. Okay, this is how it looks like so far. Just a nice little blend of very mild colors. I'm gonna paint this top part as well with the same shade now that I'm at it. Kind of just blend it in and blend it. I love blending colors, by the way. I guess that's quite obvious if you're into painting, you like blending colors. And I love mixing my own shades. I'm not too too fond about using straight from the from these tubes. It's fun to mix your own shades. There. So now I am going to take some more white. And I was thinking if I should make like purplish shades on the trees. I'm not quite sure yet. As I said, I haven't planned or sketched this. This is just improvising as I go. So I'm adding the white again for the sun here in the middle. And this time I want to make the sun 
quite far in the background, so I'm going to paint the trees last and make the sun and the sun rays first. I'm taking some more lemon yellow. Blending it in with a bit of white and a little bit of this peachy color. There. Going around the sun a little bit with that. Blending it in again just to get a little bit of a bright light around the sun. Like that, and then white again in the middle. And the sun rays, I love painting sun rays. If you've seen my previous videos, you would have noticed. So here's the sun, and then just pull out straight lines like that and make them quite long. And now they look really thick still, but I'm gonna blend it in. Take a smaller brush, wash that one off, and then blend it in before it dries, and pull it out like this. You need to put this one down. And you need to be quite quick when you use acrylics when you paint this rays because it dries so quickly. So first I make a white layer of rays. And just pull it out, flick with your brush like this. Then I take a bit more lemon yellow and add some yellow to the strikes, to the rays I mean. And simply pull it out with your brush fairly straight. Again, I'm adding a bit more water to blend it out a bit towards the end. To get this soft glow from the sun. So I tend to make some of them a little bit stronger and others a bit lighter. And then the trees will be covering this part afterwards. So again, a bit more white in the middle. And I'll add a bit more white to the rays. I feel like sun rays, clouds, and waves, water are those things that you can like work on forever. Keep adding layers until you're satisfied with it. Just love painting light rays. Any kind of light rays, like spotlights and whatnot. Okay, maybe we could add a little bit of darker orange to it. So I'm blending crimson red and lemon yellow. And adding a little bit of red into it as well. 
fine lines with the brush and I barely touch I barely touch the canvas when I do this just lightly stroke over it like this as you see hi princess thank you for joining I'm working on the sunshine at the moment as you can see where are you joining from where in the world are you princess Taking a bit more red. And fine, fine lines into the sun rays. And as you can see here in the background, I do enjoy painting all sorts of like fantasy landscapes as well. It's not super realistic. I add a lot of light rays and a lot of like stars and sparkles and whatnot. There we go. Let's see what's next. Adding a bit more of this red here and there. That's quite fun. And now white again. Go back and forth with these colors until I reach kind of race I want to keep. And I don't want to come too far down on the canvas because there's that's where the trees will be. So keeping it up here. So now I have a little bit of the red in my brush and a little bit of white on the other side to get some sort of a little blend there. Okay, that's how it looks like now. I think I'm gonna blend out this white over here a little bit more. the sunshine is done now now I need to make some sort of a purple purple for the trees now we have red here already so we will need some blue I'm gonna put that yellow brush away and let's see I'm gonna use do I have rose rose red let's try with that rose red and wondering if this or that blue. Maybe I'll go with the ultramarine blue and then add white to it. Let's see how that looks. And again, since I'm using such a tiny canvas, I'm not gonna use my palette knife for mixing the shades. And I'm just trying to clean out the yellow from this brush now so I don't get it brown. And then I'll blend these two. Now it's a soup. Oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous violet, dark, dark purple. I don't know if it shows on screen, but I love this shade. That is gorgeous. And then I'm going to add some white. 
So now I get a light purple and dark purple. This is gonna be like lavender purple. There we go. So purple trees to make it into a fantasy landscape. And yes, that is a lovely shape. Can you see that one? And then, uh, let's see. One second. Just put the person on timeout. Um, Tom Lindberg, hey, today. Are you Swedish? Your name sounds Swedish. I am painting a fairy tale landscape and this is the sun and the sunshine and a misty kind of ground and now I'm gonna start adding purple trees to this. You and German, okay, I thought Lindberg, it sounds very Swedish. I am fellow Swedish but I'm based in London. Hold on, so now I have this. I need a smaller brush. Let's see if I can find one in here. Are you an artist as well, Tom? Are you into painting? Let's see how these colors look together. So I'm gonna just make small trees here far in the distance. Sorry, I know I do go a bit quiet when I paint. So, bear with me. Okay, there's one tree in the background. Tom is saying, yes, my father is a real artist. I'm just doing it for fun. Well, I think every artist should do it for fun. I mean, even if you consider yourself professional or, or like a hobby, it should always be fun to paint. One reason why I took a long break from painting is because I put too much pressure on myself to create. Um, I, I had a few commission works and I took too much pressure to create like really, really good paintings and then kind of took the joy out of it. And it was starting to feel just like any other job because I wasn't enjoying it. So I took a long break and then I had to kind of rethink it all and find the joy in painting and start over from scratch and kind of just leave all of that pressure from creating something too perfect because painting should always be fun, I think. So here's another tree. I don't know how well you can see it on the screen. I'm making another one here in the far distance. It's so quiet. <laughs> Usually I play music when I'm painting, but I can't really do that when I'm on live because it's licensed music. I'm looking for the perfect brush to make smaller twigs. Maybe this one could work. That's a quite small one. So Tom, what kind of uh, paintings uh, does your father do? 
And what do you do? What what sort what sort of paintings? I feel like I'm losing my English for for some reason at the moment. Losing words. I quite like these colors. I like like the warm peachy and then the cold cold purple lavender for the trees. To me, that looks quite fun. Um, he is doing painting with acrylic abstract painting. Okay, abstract painting, I would say, is quite fun because, again, then you don't really try to, to create something that looks... I mean, for example, painting portraits is something that I really don't enjoy because you have to be so precise with getting everything exactly according to the person you're painting. And it's just... I mean, some people are great at it, but for me, I, I didn't find that fun because it's so frustrating to make it exactly like the real image. I guess that's why I like making fantasy paintings because it's not according to realistic um, measures. Okay, there's another tree. Tom is saying, I like everything, mostly drawing. Okay, do you, I'm not sure, I don't think that I'm connected to your channel. Do you share that on your, do you have a YouTube channel or are you more into YouTube for viewing? Do you have your artworks on your channel? So now I will add a bit of shading to this. Now the shade from this, if the sun is here. Um, Tommy saying, no, just viewing, too shy for that. Oh, bless you. I'm sure that a lot of people would find joy in your artworks as well. But I mean, nothing wrong with keeping it to yourself either. Not everything needs to be shared on social media, right? For me, it's inspiring to, it inspires me to do more when I share what, I, what I've done. And I also run art classes and Zoom classes and painting for younger kids and also for teenagers and adults. So yeah, I guess I'm quite used to painting together with others. I need some more blue. There's the shade now. But I'm running on a purple. I think ultramarine blue is my most used color in all of my paintings. Oh, Joni is here. Hi, lovely. That's looking so pretty so far. I love those soft colors. Thank you so much. I'm working on that shade now, but I need to get some more darker ultramarine blue to mix that shade of purple. Let me see. Uh, Elf Lord is also saying, YouTube is per perfect for sharp people. I've never been in one of my videos. <laughs> That's quite funny, yeah. That's true, actually. A lot of artists on YouTube only film from above and you never see their faces, so you never actually know who you are speaking to or whose uh, artworks you're watching because they don't have their real names and you never see their faces. So I think you're right, Elf Lords, you know. It's great for shy people that don't want to show their faces, but when you show your own artworks, you do show more of yourself than your face would tell. I would say that uh, showing your face tells less of a person than showing your artworks because your artwork is what you express from your inner. Your face is just the car you drive, basically. <laughs> but yes, that's a funny point. It's true. 
So now I'm mixing rose red and ultram ultramarine blue to get that kind of dark purple shade. A face can also be a dis distraction. Johnny, that's true. I never thought about it that way. It's true. If you are doing a paint along, a face or anything like, you can see I have a lot of things going on here on my table. It can be a distraction. So what you say, Johnny, is a good thing. That's something that I would need to keep in mind as well is to keep it a bit more, you know, if for a paint along to keep it a bit less distracting the surroundings and whatnot. I'm gonna continue this shade all the way here to the side. By the way, Joni, I'm so in love with the paintings you've shared this week. You have a lot of gorgeous paintings, but the ones that you shared this week, oh my goodness, I love them. They are so, so pretty. I guess a lot of you already know Joni, like everyone in the art world on YouTube <laughs> knows Joni because she's so amazing. But if you don't, do head over and check out her stuff. Okay, and there's a long shade for that tree now. Oh, uh, Joni, you're so humble. <laughs> You got such a lovely channel and such lovely artworks. I think I need to let this one dry a bit and add a different layer. I don't know if it's the canvas or why it doesn't really go the way I wish it to. But yeah, I'm gonna add a shadow, shadow from, so the sun is here, the shadow will be going that way from that tree. So a little bit of a shadow from here as well. Sometimes on these lives, I go a bit quiet when I get into the painting a little bit more. So I do apologize if I don't keep up with the chat always. Tom, you said that you are mainly viewing art videos. I wanted to ask you, what do you think is better? What do you prefer? Do you prefer watching lives where you can chat and uh, paint along? Or do you prefer the speed up time lapse kind of, where you just cut out the boring parts and get to the point more quick? <laughs> I mean, a live can be like two hours long, but a time lapse, a time lapse is like uh, three minutes. So as a viewer, what do you prefer watching? I don't think, so now I've been here for half an hour. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a very long one today. I just wanted to start with the base layer for this painting and then leave it to dry for the next layer. Um, Tom is saying both, both are nice. John is saying, I like something in between. Three minutes is too short. I like both. Nice to have a variety. Yeah, I guess I guess so. I guess it depends on your reason for watching a paint along as well. If you're painting at the same time, then it's one thing. But if you're only just viewing for entertainment, it can get quite boring just to watch in real time. So I'm kind of, I'm doing a little bit of both. Some of my videos are super short and uh, very quick. Some of them are around like 10 to 15 minutes. And then some of these ones, live ones are longer naturally. But I'm not gonna paint the full video, full, I'm losing my words. I'm not gonna paint the full painting on this live. I'm just gonna make the base now and then figure out where I want to go with this. This is not a planned painting. It's just kind of playing with colors. And I actually quite like these two colors together. Um, I do want to use up a little bit more of the paint that I have here though, so I am thinking 
I'll add one more three. Uh, Leela is here. Hi, Leela. How are you? Thank you for joining us. I'm going to put this one down again. And I'm going to add one more tree here. And that could be a little bit darker. So I'm not going to add in as much white, just a little bit more to not make it as dark as the shadow. That should be fine. And if I start around, say, here, I would want it to be up to roughly, I guess, here. Because it's closer to you, so it will be bigger than the other ones. Something I always do when I think about like using up the colors that I have on the palette is then I start getting into it again and then I have to blend new colors and then it's an unending circle of putting more colors, using it up and then blending more again. Oh well. Let's see if I get this the same shade. It might be a tiny bit different. That looks quite fine. And then going all the way down. I don't really like this canvas because it's that the surface is a little bit uneven. I don't really like that type of canvases, but I haven't, I didn't buy the, these ones before. So it's the first time I'm trying these ones out. I don't like the texture of the surface. You see what I mean? Like it's, you have to like do a lot of lines to get into in between the texture. Maybe if I add some water, but then again, you shouldn't add too much water to acrylic colors because acrylics is like the, the pigment is tied together with acrylic. And when you put too much water into it, the thing that binds it together, it might break when it dries, it might crack. So you don't want to add too much water to acrylics. I think someone said, was it 30% water maximum? Remember one time I spent ages on painting one painting, a big one, and then it was in the sun in the living room and it started cracking and it was so annoying because I really loved that painting, but I learned from that mistake of not adding too much water into the paint. I want that flat brush. Where is it? This one is flatter. Maybe this will work better for those edges. Oh yes, this goes into the texture a bit more. It was nice to see you live and chat for a bit. I've got to take my pup for a walk now. Bye everyone, have a great day. Thank you so much, uh, Joni, for joining and enjoy your day and your walk with your pup, which is very cute, by the way. I've seen pictures on Instagram. Got the cutest dog. Did I see Kenyatta is here as well? Kenyatta, hi, how are you? Let me put the screen up for a second. Um, Kenyatta is saying, hi, Charlotte and everyone in the chat. It's so pretty. I love the colors. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if you're still here, but if you are, thank you for joining us. Putting it down again. Now this one is starting to look a bit like a pole instead of a tree, but I won't make it into a pole. I'm going to make it, I'm going to work on it a little bit more. to make it into a tree. Uh, 
Okay, and then we need some branches. There. Let me see, what did you say? Um, Samurai saying, I burned myself with a heat gun while doing a painting. Uh, it hurts a lot. Oh no, that's not good. I With a heat gun, you, I did that with a glue gun sometimes when I've been crafting. Be careful with those those ones. Kenyatta is saying, I am good. It's afternoon for you, isn't it, Kenyatta? I can see that I'm running out of battery, so let me just plug in this one. There we go. So I am making some branches on this tree here in the middle. Pressing the brush against the palette to make it more fine tipped. Sometimes you can roll it against the palette like this to get the tip a bit finer. What kind of branch shall I do here on the other side? Maybe a little bit more straight line like that, like that. Starting to look like arms now for this one. Dancing tree. Not very happy with this tree, you know. And uh, yes, it's 3 28 p.m. here in Georgia. Are the kids you, the kids are haven't gone back to school, have they? In Georgia, are you still homeschooling? The schools are open here in London and the kids have gone back to school, but we have now got around 3,000 new cases daily. Roughly just around. So let's see what will happen this autumn. Either way, I will be here in my art studio painting. So doesn't really affect that that much, but of course it is. Um, Difficult times, especially economically for everywhere, you know, it's strange times. Adding a bit of highlights to this tree and the twigs and the side towards the sun, could have a little bit more light on it. I am so sorry, I have kept that one up. Uh, lots of new cases here at school and colleges. Um, Kay Renee is saying, can you have to say yes, they are virtual? Wait. Yes, they are virtual. Oh, the classes, so they're homeschooling, you mean. Um, but we are done for the day, okay, that's good. 
Yeah, let's see how this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so behind with the with the chat because I'm trying to paint at the same time. Yeah, it's um, we definitely have the second wave rising now in London and the UK. So it will be interesting to see what will happen. We have new restrictions now again, so you can use you meet up with maximum six people at a time. But I mean, schools are still open, restaurants are still open, but they can only have six guests at the time. So I don't really know how that will work in the long run. And they say these restrictions will probably be in place until March next year. Imagine that. So the headlines are Boris cancelled Christmas. But yeah, let's see what happens. There's not much we can do about it. Just follow along and see what happens, I guess. It is what it is. We make the most of what we get. <clears throat> so again, adding a bit of highlights towards the sun. I've noticed a lot of people on my channel are from the US for some reason. Most of my views come from, my view time comes from the US. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here and thank you for taking part on my channel and being supportive and lovely. And I hope you gain something from this as well if you're into painting. I used to do more kids crafts here on this channel, but I changed that since the Coppolo stepped in place. And I've actually noticed a big growth since I start, started sharing my own artworks instead of the kids' crafts. So maybe it wasn't that bad of a thing, even though I was a little bit frustrated in the beginning. So since January, I've been starting to share more of my own artworks and stuff. You see all these paintings on the wall as well. <clears throat> yes, woo, America! <laughs> I also did a Zoom class with Americans today, two uh, boys in Florida. That's why I'm wearing my Miami t-shirt because they are in Miami right now. So they were fun to see that I'm sitting in London wearing a Miami, Miami top. The elections are coming up in America, right? Very soon. Let's see, what did you say, Samurai? I'm going to an advertisement class and it's weird being in middle school. What about Halloween for you guys? I'm about to do a Zoom class. Uh, Halloween, well, people in, in UK do celebrate Halloween. I come from Finland originally and when we grew up, we didn't celebrate Halloween. But here in the UK, it's quite common. It's getting more and more common, I think. Um, what kind of Zoom class will you do, Samurai? So now again, um, my niece and her husband live in London. He is going to vet school there. Oh, okay. Yeah, they got a lot of really good schools here in London. universities as well and art schools and art colleges and what not did you ever visit London yourself I lived in London for uh, eight and a half years now time flies 
I still remember the day I moved here. <laughs> I was working for a Finnish family and I was doing art with their boys privately in their home. A lot has changed in eight and a half years. Elf Lord says, no, don't want to fly that long. Yeah, it's a long flight. When I flew to Florida, I was uh, eight and a half hours and the flight was delayed as well. So it was around 10 hours journey. So yeah, it is a far flight, a long flight. Feels like all of this that I'm painting right now needs a second layer because of the texture of this canvas. But that's okay. I'll just add some more. There to blend in those edges. And this one needs a shadow as well and that shadow will continue this way. We are painting autumn pictures with the youngest artists. For those of you who are following me on Instagram, you've seen that already. Made this time. And also autumn leaves and autumn trees and autumn colors and everything autumn. Um, what else before I finish for today? And I wanted to add another layer, but that one needs to dry first. So I'll do that at another point. Um, I think I'll add some white dots and lines. Use this white. Adding some white dots to the background. Tavi is saying, that's looking great. I love small canvas artworks. Thank you so much. The reason why I like working with these tiny canvases is I do it without planning and then I'm just playing with the colors and seeing where it takes me. And yeah, zero pressure, just having fun with the colors. It's almost like working in a sketchbook when you use these tiny ones. And I wanted to see how it looks like if I add this white here in the far distance. Yay or nay for the white. Looks quite fun actually, I think. Easier to store to and easier to put on the wall. You have more space. <laughs> but I do want to paint like a massive painting soon. 
because I want to have one uh, opposite my bed in the bedroom. So a massive one, like I would say, like maybe two meters, a fantasy landscape, something pretty and colorful and bright in colors and light to wake up to. <laughs> wake up in a fairy, fairy tale, fantasy fairy tale. Yes, I quite like that white in the background, this part looks quite fun. <clears throat> Sorry. Normally, when you paint in the background, Sorry about that. Normally you would make this black because it will be like a silhouette against the sun, but I like it in white. <coughs> I do apologize. <clears throat> Davy saying, hi elf, hi there. Samurai had to go. Okay, thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> I do apologize also for not keeping up with the chat all the time because I get so into the painting that I don't always keep up. I want to cover that part as well with white. It was a bit too much red over there. That's easily fixed. And then I'll add some more of this white stuff because I think it looks quite fun even though it goes against like it should be actually black but I don't want to add too much black to my paintings anymore just like light and bright colors I need to get a, a new small brush, a fine brush, because I've spoiled the ones that I had. Sometimes with acrylics, if you use those fine brushes and you leave them even for one painting session, they, they get spoiled so easily. You have to clean them straight away. But then you don't want to leave them standing in water like these ones because they bend so I've gone through so many of those fine brushes in my life like this one as well I kept it standing in the water so now it's like bent like that <clears throat> Kenyatta is saying I enjoyed this love but I have to head out to get dinner for the crew talk with you later have a great weekend thank you Kenyatta for being here and enjoy dinner with your loved ones and good luck with the homeschooling now it's the weekend ahead so enjoy your weekend off and then yeah speak to you soon mm, yes i use nylon brushes they are not very expensive nylon yeah i'm not too fussed about what type of brushes i have all sorts of different brushes as you can see but uh, the fine brushes they're just always get spoiled. This one is still working even though it's like super bent. <clears throat> so yeah, that's definitely on my shopping list. Oh, now it kind of makes sense with the light because now it's going like behind the sun rays and the sun rays are shining through it. So in that case, I guess if the sun is shining on it, then it makes sense that it will be light.
By the way, guys, I recently joined TikTok and I am already addicted. Compared to YouTube, you grow so fast there. It's crazy. I had over 9,000 views on a post that I posted yesterday and I've only been on there for three days. Imagine, like 9,000 views. It takes forever to get that kind of views on YouTube. It's crazy. If you are on YouTube, on uh, TikTok, do find me there as well. I have like almost no connections there because none of my friends use it. But yeah, I still get views for some odd reason. I don't really, I haven't figured out how the algorithms work on there yet. But yeah, it's fun. <clears throat> oh, you, I say, David is saying uh, nylon brushes because if you break them, it's not a big deal. I hear you. Yeah, that makes sense. So I could buy some nylon brushes. Thank you for that tip. I'll, I'll look out for that. This is how this painting is looking right now. And I think I'm going to leave this to dry and continue another day with a new layer. This was fun actually, very random and I might change it completely still. I do tend to overdo my paintings and add too much detail, but I feel like I want to add some, maybe some water or something down here and some reflections. So yes, thank you guys for being with me for this hour of painting. Sundays with heart, very nice. Thank you so much. So yeah, I will catch you very soon. Once this one is ready, it will be hanging here with the rest of the paintings. But for now, I still need to work on it. And I think I need to make a few of them so I can put them here. Otherwise, it will be a little bit out of place. Just the one. Anyways, take care, lovely people. Thank you for being here. Look after yourselves. Stay well. Stay healthy. And speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ha de bra. Thank <laughs> you.